What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Ja'Kayla A, and I'm back in this bitch with another tutorial, another nail tutorial. I'm sorry that I cut out the prep. I wasn't in the frame, so I've pushed back the cuticle. I used a fine sandy band on the nails, as I always do. I even soaked this client's nail off, and we were doing a fresh set, so you might see some of that lime green still down, but it's very, very minimal. And um, so I've already prepped the nail and now I'm moving on to the fitting the tips. These are universal stiletto tips. I wish I knew what company I got these from. I think it's an independent um, woman of color. I think she's a Latina woman and she um, is so talented. So I just wanted to support her and I just bought them off of Instagram because I saw she was selling things on her site. So I can't even like link them to you. I just forgot where they came from. So I'm fitting the tips. I fit two for this particular client because they're the same on both sides. So use five on one hand, use five on the other hand. I just go ahead and pick 10 at that one time. So I'm putting them on. I'm using my KDS glue and I really, really like these tips. Generally speaking, all of, almost all of my clients get coffin nails. I don't know what it is. I love me a stiletto nail. I love me a square nail. But for some reason, all of my clients get a coffin slash tapered square type of look i guess that's just what's popular so when you have a stiletto and you cut that little bit of a tip down to make it a coffin it is just like chef's kiss it's the easiest way to get to shaping now you should know how to shape just from a square tip but if you trying to save time or if it's a particular look that you're going for and you're struggling with that coffin shape, get some stiletto tips and then just get the easy coffin that way. And you're going to see that that's how I achieve this shape today. You can kind of touch the sides. You definitely have to file out the free edge where you cut it. But for the most part, when you do it this way, it gets you straight there. And these are really long stiletto tips too. I don't know if they're showing up on camera, but they were quite long. So if you were getting a long stiletto, this will work for that too. But we go ahead, we figure out the length, cut them off and match them across. And then we go back in for the next step. So as you see, I touched the size of the nail with that 100 100 square file, but then I had a shorter and thinner file. I think it's a 180 or it's even like a 220 or something like that, where I blended the tip um, of the enhancement where the smile line for the nail is. You know, you want that little bulky part that's in the middle where you just glued that tip. You want to just smooth that down you can use this one but sometimes i just use the other one because it's more gentle on the nail if i'm going to also be filing across the nail just in case it touched the nail this 100 100 grit file is kind of intense but you could use that and just have a light hand you don't have to use two different files in one service that's just how i do it so I'm dusting off the hand. Like I said, we work in one hand at a time. So it's a whole separate video on the other hand. This client lets me do one design on one hand and one design on the other hand so that I can maximize videos. So she really works with me. And these acrylics you saw, the second one was Nude Panther from Not Polish. This is my first time trying to not polish acrylic. I do not have the color on the orange one. I kind of flashed it a little bit, but I forgot what it said. And it's a orange solid color from iGel Beauty. 
the company that has that 60 percent off sale that is still going like the longest sale in the history of the world the sale been going on child don't give me the line the sale been going on for like two months they snapping with that sale that sale is still going on right now 60 percent off of everything at igel beauty so i'm using this uh protein bond as always always using young nails protein bond in the description of this video i'm gonna link several of my basics like the protein bond my drill bit that i use because i don't use a carbide bit i use a cross cut bit it's a little safer it's a little um little safety measure that i take less likely to cut somebody with that type of bit over carbide um this dapping dish just a bunch of basics a bunch of basics they're going to be linked in the description people always ask and i always am just so forgetful but i'm going to remember this time so here i am i'm going in my brush i'm going to link my brush it's tony lee nails brush it's a size 12 i'm going to link that down below too the monomer that i'm using is glam and glitz monomer the um acrylic that i'm picking up there just because whenever i'm doing color I want to put down that layer of clear so that when the client comes back and they want to change their mind, which this person, they always get something different. I won't have to soak off their nails entirely every single time. And sometimes I do want to soak them off. I want to change the shape. I want to change the design to a point that I just have to soak them off. But for the common client, they don't want to have to soak their nails off every single time they come and get their nails done. So I put down that little bit of clear. Like I said, you see that little bit of um, line because I didn't soak them off completely. But this, in this case, this design and this client should be fine. Next time we do a soak off, I'll be for sure to get that off completely. Because you never know what the design is. Maybe that underneath there, you know, it will distract from the design. In this case, like I said, we're going to be fine. But I'm using um, Young Nails Clear. That's the clear that I'm using now. And here I am going in with this orange color from iGel. Um, overall, I did a whole review. It's already up. And it's my last nail haul. And I swatched every single color I got from iGel, which is it like 15, 16 colors? I don't know. I got quite a few colors. And most of them are glitters because I heard that that's really where the bang for your buck is with these. And you're less, lap, less likely, excuse me, to have marbling. And splotchy dry points in the consistency is more consistent through the glitters versus through the solid colors but this particular one I really love this particular one performed really well overall I think out of all the colors I bought like 15 or 16 I only had like two or three that I didn't like now that's bad because you know I still spend my money but overall I still had a better experience than not so i still will recommend them but you do have to be careful with the solid colors you might get some marbling so i'm just gonna go in with the design i did a little bit of ombre i did a little bit of marble nails i encapsulated some butterflies i'm not gonna talk you guys through it i'm just gonna let you enjoy it and then i'll check back in
Okay, so I'm finishing up the finish file here. Like I said before, that cross cut bit will be linked below. The finish file is done. I always wipe down with alcohol because I don't like to introduce water to the service. I don't like the person to have to go get up, wash hands, all of that. I just use alcohol. And I only chopped up some of the filing process just for the sake of the video being so long. I try to keep more of the application in my videos now. And so, therefore, I got to take more of the filing off of my videos just because it will be so long, y'all. Y'all will be watching this video all day. It take me like an hour plus like an hour ish pretty much an hour to do one hand and then you know an hour to do the other hand and i want to just chop the video up so you don't have to watch it all day so that's done and now we're about to incorporate the design on top we did uh some sugar nail we just did one that little pinky there i am using a base coat i think it's models one but i also have a new base coat from beetles um that is the top coat that i use i gotta link that um down down below too that's the top coat i use every single time i think it's eight bucks is it ten dollars now i feel like when i bought it it was five dollars and then it just got popular and it went up so it's somewhere between five and ten dollars on amazon and i use that top coat and now i have that base coat as well but i think this is models one which is also on amazon and the sugar that I'm using, it's a particular fine sugar. Like, it looks like cotton candy. But when I used it, as you're about to see, it looks just like my regular glitters. It does. It looks just like my regular fine um, glitters that I use for sugar nails. How it shows up on the nail itself. Maybe it's because that base was so dark. But look at it. It looks so, it looks like orange snow. It looks really like sugar like a confectioner sugar it was really weird how it was in the the jar but it showed up as you can see when i dusted it shows up looking very pretty and looking like normal sugar nail i think it was because the acrylic base underneath was so dark maybe if i did it on top of a clear nail or a glitter nail would have had a different effect so i don't know that's something to think about something to try so we go ahead and cure that and then we got into the bling right after that all right y'all the bling is done i'm going in with my top coat and my cuticle oil i just went in randomly with that bling you know just figured it out as i go that's really what a freestyle is all about but don't forget to check that description if y'all have any questions about my staple products that i use every single time that i do nails i'm even gonna put that cuticle oil down there because i use that every single time so check that description and i'll see y'all in the next one bye